Hello and welcome to the General Post Office here in the heart of Dublin City, a building that belongs to the people of Ireland and I'm pus like to call the sitting room of the nation. The GPO is over 200 years old and as the site of the Easter Rising in 1916 is one of Ireland's most important and symbolic buildings. So where better to launch a very special set of stamps celebrating four of Ireland's finest singer-songwriters and artists in this case who have each graced the stage of the famous Glastonbury Music and Arts Festival. Festival. We are delighted to celebrate Christy Moore, Lisa Hannigan, Sinead O'Connor and Andrew Hosier Byrne on four beautiful new stamps by Irish designer Sean McGrath. They're available through on post.com and in local post offices nationwide. To be featured on an Irish stamp is one of the greatest honours Ireland can bestow on an artist. Both the stamp subject and stamp design are approved by the state on behalf of the Irish people, so it's a pretty big deal. And on this very special occasion, on Post will make a donation to the Irish music industry COVID relief fund for each stamp sold. Send spirit, send lyrics, send love. His first appearance in Glastonbury in 1984 led him to be a regular performer at the festival, and in 93 he headlined the Pyramid stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Christy Moore. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to start by saying what a privilege it is to be in this historic building, to be asked to sing a few songs. The first song I'm going to sing I learned from my grandfather. He had one song. His name was Jack Power. He came from Hayes, Navan, County Meath. And this is the one song that Jack Power had. As down the glen one Easter morn to a city fair rode I. Fair armed lines of marching men in squadrons passed me by. No pipes did hum, no battle drum rang out their dread tattoo. But the angelus bell or the liffy swell it rang out in the foggy dew. Oh, right proudly high or the GPO they hung out the flag of war. It was better to die neath the Irish sky than at Sovla or Sodalbar. And from the plains of royal meads, strong men, they came hurrying through. While Britannia's Huns, with her long range guns, fired hell through the foggy dew. Twas John Redmond, who bad our wild geese go, that small nations might be free. But their lonely graves are by soulless waves, by the fringe of the grey North Sea. Oh, and they died by Tom Clark's side, with McDermott, with McDonough, Plunkett too. Oh, their graves we would keep where the Fenians sleep neath the shroud of the foggy dew. And back through the glen I rode again, and my heart with grief it was sore. For I parted then with valiant men that I never would see more and to and fro in my mind I go I kneel and I pray for you oh for slavery fled oh rebel dead when you fell in the foggy dew
Christy, this is a huge honour seeing you playing at all, but in this incredible yeah. building, it's something quite special. It's um, amazing to be here. It is. It's such an historical... When you think of the things that happened here, to be invited in to, to sing here is, I think, one of the privileges of my working life. Definitely. Well, and mine. It's, it's a, such an honour to have you here. Um, how has the past year been for you? Uh, like everybody else, it's been difficult. Um, but we've made it through. Most of us are still here, thankfully, and uh, we'll make it to the other end. Um, if, we're all, if we all do as we're asked to do, there's a good chance we'll, we'll come through. And what, is there something that's struck you more so in the past while that you appreciate about live shows and crowds? I think you've always been quite appreciative, but has anything else struck you differently since we've been kept away from crowds lately? Well, I think one of the things that has really come home to me is I never really appreciated how well off we all were in, in, in the, the work that we do to be travelling the country and travelling the world and singing songs to people who wanted to hear and suddenly it all just comes to a stop. But you've got, you've got to just uh, get on with it. And, and uh, I mean, th th there are good sides of it. I've had a great year at home, with, with, with uh, a full year at home, which is something I've never had in my life before. Um, so it's, you know, we won't forget it in a hurry this year we've had. All going well, and we get back to business, say, next week. What, what would you like to do? Would you go back on the road? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I really long to, to meet up with all, all my workmates again and get back out on the road and uh, do a few sound checks and <laughs> that eight o'clock waft of aftershave and perfume before you go out on stage and then go for it. Two hours of, uh, you know, Sweat, blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're on a stamp. Yeah. Tell us how that feels. What does it mean to you? I wish my grandparents were around to see this because they would have lived through it, you know, to sing in the GPO. Mm. But it's great to be on an old stamp as well. <laughs> it's no harm. <laughs> you're no worse for it. Uh, well, really, as a Kildare woman and an Irish musician, um, it makes so much sense that you'd be honoured in this way. Thank you. Christy, thank you so much for being here um, and congratulations. Thank you very much, Mick. Hey? Thank you. This next song was delivered by the postman, a cassette all the way from Jersey in the Channel Islands, a song written by the late Barney Rush from Sally Noggin in County Dublin. Of all the stars that ever shone not one does twinkle like your pale blue eyes Like golden corn at harvest time your hair Sailing in my boat the wind gently blows and fills my sail your sweet scented breath is everywhere And daylight peeping through the curtains of the passing night time is your smile And the sun in the sky is like your laugh Come back to me, my Nancy Linger for just a little while Since you left me here, my tears go away No matter who, where I wander I'm still haunted by your name The portrait of your beauty stays the same Standing by the ocean Wondering where you've gone If you'll return again Oh, where is the ring I gave to Nancy Spain On a day in spring 
When snows start to melt and streams to flow With the birds I'll sing a song In a while I'll wander Down by Bluebell Grove Where wild flowers grow And I'll hope That lovely Nancy Will return No matter where I wander I'm still haunted By your name The portrait Of your beauty Stays the same Standing by the ocean Wondering where you've gone If you'll return again Oh, where is the ring I gave to Nancy Spain Where is the ring I gave to Nancy Spain Barney Rush. In 2007, she made her first appearance at Glastonbury, but she revisited the acoustic stage many times with her beautiful songs and her beautiful voice. We are so delighted to have her here tonight. It's Lisa Hannigan. Hide your horses, hold your tongue Hang the rich and spare the young Who drain the spirits from the jar Hop the fences, steal the cars Run on fumes and from the law And burn for us right through the fall Hobble ladies, call your name Brush your hair like you could be tamed Hitch their dresses past their knees Spill them to the floor like keys They swing the bridges one and all And burn for us right through the fall So how has this past year been for you from a, 
well, first and foremost, creative perspective? Oh, I, do, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's been the most creative, um, but that's kind of baby adjusted terms more than pandemic adjusted terms. Um, but you know, I'm just doing what I can and taking along and I, do, I, do, I don't have the lockdown record that everybody else is going to have at the end of it, I don't think. I think that's comforting for some people, to be honest. It's so easy to think that you're the only one not coping or not being productive and stuff. So I think it's yeah. good for people to hear. Well, I'm just kind of, yeah, getting on doing, doing what I can and hopefully, you know, hopefully plowing some fields and making them productive for future times. <laughs> You yeah. know, but I don't feel particularly productive at the moment. <laughs> um, if we could like wave a magic wand and this was all over and everyone was safe, um, would you be going back on the road now or what, what would you be looking forward to the most? Oh, I would love that. I would love to go to a gig. I'd love to sit at a gig. That's the, that's the state of life I'm at now. I'd like to sit at a gig um, with a pint and just watch some live music. It would be amazing. And then to do a gig. Is there something that you've noticed more so now that that all has been very unceremoniously taken away from us that, that you didn't really appreciate beforehand that maybe you've got a further appreciation for now? I think it's, for a musician, it just feels like part of the rhythm of your life, you know, the, like the seasonality of it where you're writing and then you're, you're out touring. And it's like we've just missed that whole harvest period, you know? Um, and it's kind of nourishing, I think, touring, you know, it kind of fills you up to go and write songs. And yeah, it's hard. You just feel like we've missed out on, on that part of the cycle for, for a year. But yeah, hopefully we'll get there again soon. And, and, and I'm sure it'll just feel just the same if, you know, if not more exciting. Um, you're on a stamp. I mean, tell us how this feels. It's so bizarre and surreal and strange and absolutely the most exciting honour ever. It's amazing. And it's, they're beautiful. All of them are beautiful. And it's so exciting to be among such company. Um, and for me, you know, it took me so many years to feel comfortable with even being called a songwriter. But to be, um, to be on the stamp as a songwriter is, is like, is really special. And, it, you know, it, it Took me a lot of years to get the confidence to even say that. So that that's it's there's a leap from there to here, for sure. It is a giant honour because it's our kind of form of like other countries have them in in other ways of honouring art and artists and things. But this, I would think, this is one of the highest ways of us honouring an artist. Yeah, I've never I've never seen anything like it to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. Um, it's amazing. This is so surreal being in the GPO, watching you, watching Christy Moore. Um, I'm so delighted to be here and just I'm so glad you're being honoured in this way. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very exciting. <laughs> to see for that day he wanted to know what to say when he's asked what he done in the past to someone that he loved and lastly She's gone, so is he. I went to war every morning. I lost my way, but now I'm following what you said in my arms. What I read. That I love durably. Now it's dead and gone, and I am free. Oh, 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 oh. 
winter sleep for the daytime. Shut my eyes to the sunshine. Turn my head away from the noise. Bruise and drip the candy of childish toys that I love. Arguably, all our laboring contraceed. Oh, 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 In 1990, Sinead O'Connor made her first appearance at Glastonbury. She was the first female solo artist to headline the festival, only to be followed 21 years later by Beyonce. Here in the courtyard of the GPO stands a monument dedicated to the young lives lost as a result of gunfire on Easter week 1916. Tonight, Natalia O'Flaherty reads Sinead O'Connor's Three Babies. Each of these, my three babies, I will carry with me for myself. I ask no one else will be mother to these three. And of course, I'm like a wild horse. But there's no other way I could be. Water and feed are not tools that I need for the thing that I've chosen to be. In my soul, my blood and my bones, I have wrapped your cold bodies around me. The face on you, the smell of you will always be with me. Each of these, my tree babies. I was not willing to live, though I tried. I blasphemed and denied. I know they will be returned to me. Each of these, my babies, have brought you closer to me. No longer mad like a horse. And it's because you've thrilled me 
silenced me, stilled me, proved things I never believed. The face on you, the smell of you will always be with me. Each of these, my tree babies, I will carry with me for myself. I ask no one else will be mother to these tree. His first time in Glastonbury was in 2014, where he played the acoustic stage and the John Peel stage. He progressed on in 2015 and 2019 and wowed crowds from the pyramid stage. Now we see him perform from the Witness History Courtyard here in the GPO, Hosier. Andrew, we are standing here in the GPO in front of something incredibly special and I'd just love to know um, how you're feeling about it. Um, it's an honour. Uh, it is an honour and it's, this is my first time in the GPO as well so it's, it's such a pleasure to be here and for such an, you know, for such an honour and I'm in such an incredible company as well too with, with Sinead and, and Christy and, and Lisa, all, all heroes of mine so it's, it's a very good feeling. It's been a really bizarre year. I've, I've completely run out of words to describe it. Yeah. Um, has there been a, a part of the year that you found some goodness in? I really have, yeah. Um, I really have. And there was days where I, and there was weeks where I, had to, I couldn't, I found it difficult to create, I have to say, and not, having, not being able to plan ahead, not being able to look forward to, that, that can be at times, I think, stifling for motivation and creativity. But I, I had a wonderful time just reconnecting with a sense of local community and uh, people who are around me walking and swimming in the sea and, and being, you know, just applying a sense of gratefulness to, to what, what, what I could engage with and what I could achieve and what I could do. And that was, that was a joy, you know, so um, I, hope, I hope to take a lot of that with me. You know? If you could wave a magic wand now and, and things open back up and everything, what would be your thing at the moment? Do you want to go back on the road right now? Do you want to get back in the studio? What's the priority for you next? Um, I'm working on, on stuff. I'm really excited to, 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 get, to hit the road again, I think. Um, and I think over the last year, thought deeply about what it is that I, that I actually do love about, you know, what, what we do, about, about touring and about... Um, seeing people enjoy themselves and I think with live music I think that's at, ultimately that's that's at the, at the center of it at the core of it is enjoying yourself with other musicians and watching other people enjoy that too and, and um, I'm just looking forward to that and, and uh, obviously approaching it with a very different uh, a very different mindset well it's I just can't believe this I mean it's really one of the greatest honors I think in Ireland that we can really give to an artist is is the the Irish stamp yeah, it's. I am. I am absolutely honoured. I'm. Uh, it's. It's absolutely fantastic, and I'm delighted. It's Ruth uh, Medjber, uh photographer, who uh, joined me on the last on the last tour. Uh, took this wonderful photo, and look, I'm honoured to be to be among these artists, and I'm. I'm you yeah, know, and I'm delighted. I, I get to share it with Ruth as well too. So, um, yeah. That's great. Thank you. Days on a wire. It'll 
looks ugly But it's clean Oh mama, don't fuss over me The way she tells me I'm hers and she is mine Open hand or closed fist would be fine The blood is rare and sweet as cherry wine Cones of guilty thrown at me Oh, how she stains the sheets of some other Just like she throws with the arm of her brother But I want it It's a crime That she's not around most of the time The way she shows me I'm hers and she is mine Open hand or closed fist would be fine Fight and fury is fiery Oh, but she loves Like sleep to the freezing Sweet and right And merciful I'm all but washed In the tides of her breathing And it's so worth it It's divine Of the time, the way she shows me I'm hers and she is mine. Open hand or closed fist would be fine. The blood is red and sweet as cherry wine. Thank you so much for joining us here in the GPO. These beautiful stamps, great Irish songwriters who have performed at Glastonbury are available through on Puss.com and in local post offices nationwide. And don't forget, on Puss will make a donation to the Irish Music Industry COVID Relief Fund for every stamp sold. Thank you for watching. Send spirit, send lyrics, send love.